Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, the uh, Wednesday's trading session, the 31st of May 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly <coughs> download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, an impressive um, new high on the FTSE 100, certainly pushing to new highs. Uh, overnight, uh, the Asian market certainly on the weaker side. The Nikkei finishing lower, the Shanghai Hang Seng finishing more or less flat. Okay, in terms of economic data for today, it certainly has been um, quite prolific. We have had uh, Chinese data out overnight, certainly on the stronger side, more or less coming in line. Uh, in terms of the European session, uh, GFK consumer confidence coming in slightly better overnight on the uh, in terms of UK. Uh, the shop price index uh, certainly coming in slightly better as well. Obviously, Chinese data stronger than expected. Uh, construction data and housing starts from Japan slightly better, again, helping the recovery. Uh, German retail sales actually came in weaker than expected. Uh, inflation figures from Europe certainly on the weaker side. Unemployment numbers from, um, from uh, Germany as well on the weaker side. Uh, in terms of uh, the UK, net lending to individuals certainly came in slightly weaker. Consumer credit slightly stronger mortgage approvals on the weaker side and that still, still hasn't stopped the FTSE 100 from certainly rallying higher uh, the uh, Italian CPI inflation data more or less in line uh, European unemployment rate did actually slightly improve although the inflation figure certainly fell lower again okay again especially with yesterday's uh, French and German inflation on the weaker side again exerting pressure on the euro but that certainly hasn't um, uh, caused the euro to fall if anything the euro has gone in the opposite direction. Uh, Canadian GB GDP came in on the weaker side on a quarter-on-quarter on quarter basis. On a month-on-month -month basis, it did come in slightly better than expected, so a mixed signal there. Okay, we are looking forward to Mr. Kaplan, although he has reiterated three uh, potential rate hikes this year, so again, bear that in mind. Red Book sales have just come out, uh, came in more or less uh, in line by the look of things. We're looking for the Chicago PMI pending home sales and then Fed base book, Fed's base book later, also API data too. Okay, so US, uh, or should we say UK? The UK really is a story this morning in terms of the markets. Again, weaker inflation from Germany, uh, or should we say Eurozone, uh, which again has helped the uh, European equities uh, move higher, although the Euro certainly hasn't fallen, which is very strange. Okay, we'll certainly keep an eye on that. Uh, the Euro certainly pushing higher. Um, mainly due to a weaker uh, dollar and the back of reports of uh, Mr. Trump putting out the uh, the Paris climate change deal. Okay, now let's look at the actual uh, picture here with regards to the uh, currencies. Uh, euro USD, as you can see here, I was expecting a, uh, a sell off on the euro, and that certainly hasn't uh, occurred on the back of weaker inflation numbers. We are now into resistance on the euro on this 1.1225 level. Let's keep an eye on there. In terms of the Euro GBP USD, we did actually hit a pivot low 1.1275 before we actually rallied quite sharply on the back of a potential pole, uh, although the pole itself is distorted and was actually old as well, so bear that in mind, reporting that the Tories have a lead again, which again is circumspect uh, and certainly does throw that into question. Okay, so in terms of the actual equity market, let's have a look. Okay, so let's look at the actual uh, FTSE 100 now. Let's, let's see exactly where the FTSE itself is st uh, stands. Now, the daily and weekly weekly chart, you we already know, we're breaking out. Uh, certainly pushing higher. Whether that's on the back of uh, a weaker sterling, we don't know. Whether that's on the back of, obviously, potential Corbyn uh, realigning or certainly coming back into power and being a formidable force, given the fact that his job isn't... Ta is certainly... Uh, he, he's actually... Um, Anti-austerity, which again, anti-austerity is generally good for the stock market. Okay, so bear that in mind. Uh, austerity actually is uh, strong for the pound, uh, causes the pound to obviously move higher, and which in turn obviously causes the uh, exports to be hit. So that's interesting. Okay, so FTSE 100, you're looking at a rising contracting wedge pattern in the daily chart. Let's see exactly how that plays out. We have had oil weakness today which again, the FTSE 100 certainly has ignored. As you can see, oil is certainly down on the day. FTSE has ignored the weakness in oil altogether, which again, again, very surprising. 60 minute chart on the FTSE, certainly a topping tail there at 7.586. We'll see whether or not we can reverse and test the breakout level at 7.555. Looking at the 10 minute chart here on the FTSE, you certainly are seeing a resistance. You do have pivot R3 above, at um, which is currently around the 7.600 level. 
Okay, so we'll see exactly how this market unfolds. For now, you certainly have the FTSE gapping higher. You have an unfilled gap below. Uh, unfilled gap below, seen at 7525. Uh, unfilled gap there okay we broke higher 7555 and obviously we pushed higher to 7585 which is very very impressive for my understanding and my interpretation we certainly need to come back lower back to test that breakout level and then we'll see how the markets react at that breakout in terms of the uh, german dax let's look at the german dax here 60 minute chart back on that key resistance at 12 uh, 700 on the german dax uh, daily chart uh, again trading sideways but we certainly seem to have uh, uh, coming to resistance here at this zone you do have one fill gap left or uh, remains open at 12800 very unlikely to be hit from my perspective especially given the fact that the euro is currently trading around the above the 1.12 level 10 minute chart on the german dax let's just bring this up for you 10 minute chart quite an impressive thrust higher uh, to say the least uh, very very impressive broke out of this uh, key uh, support zone uh, on the uh, 10 minute chart but you are now into resistance and you are looking for a reversal in terms of the French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC for you. Okay, so French CAC on the daily chart first and foremost. Again, you're into that diagonal trend line. You are into that fib resistance. 60-minute chart on the French CAC, you are into gap fill resistance, into horizontal resistance, into fib resistance as well. And the 10-minute clearly shows you're into gap fill. Looking for a reversal back down to 3300 potentially, 5300, sorry. And then we'll see exactly how the market reacts when we get there. Okay, in terms of the euro stocks, last but not least, uh, into resistance here. Previous support equals resistance into gap fill resistance into fib resistance. Uh, daily chart really is uh, trading sideways at best. And the 10 minute chart zooming in for you certainly uh, close the gap, certainly pushed higher. Impressive thrust. Okay, if we do continue and rally higher than the next resistance at 3595 and then at 3600. But from my perspective, certainly looking for a retrace, uh, looking at potentially retesting the breakout at 3570, potentially even testing the lows at uh, 3550 and 3545 if the euro continues its march higher. Okay, so I think that's a good summation really. Uh, in terms of the European session, again, looks like weaker inflation certainly is helping uh, European equities to a large extent. Whether or not that lasts is a different question altogether, given the fact that... Uh, uh, the ECB have indicated uh, from September onwards they are looking to potentially taper and there are voices from the German government as well, especially now that Miss Le Pen is out of the way and uh, Wilders is out of the way. All the populist parties certainly uh, have uh, crawled back into their cave. It looks like the hawks certainly get their way and you are, especially with regards to Mr Trump's uh, uh, rhetoric as well regarding uh, Germany and its trade as surplus and uh, the... Uh, uh, and the negative comments regarding Germany and uh, the Eurozone in, in total, uh, it certainly will uh, have a negative effect on European equity. So just bear that in mind. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus.